There are three factors that determine the prices of petrol and diesel that you buy at the pumps. First is the prices of crude oil on the world market. That we don't have control over, right? The second is the currency differentials. That is the performance of the city against the major trading currency, in this case, the dollar. The Bank of Ghana has made a number of interventions by releasing a lot more dollars to the BDCs to import the finished products. We'll see how that would impact on the situation ahead. But the third factor is the taxes, the margins and levies on the price buildup. When you go to the pumps to buy a liter of petrol or diesel, you have a number of taxes on that one liter. Follow me. These are the taxes. Energy debt recovery levy, 49 pesos. Road fund levy, 48 pesos. Energy fund levy, 1 peso. Price stabilization recovery levy, 14 pesos. Sanitation and pollution levy, uh, you have 10 pesos. Energy sector recovery levy, 20 pesos. The special petroleum tax, 46 pesos. You have primary distribution margin there, 8 pesos. If you add all the pesos to it, the quantum effect, the total taxes and levies on one liter of petrol or diesel is 4 CD 64 pesos. Now, currently, the price of fuel, that's petrol, is on average 10 CDs, 10 pesos. Now, take a look at this. If we take out the total taxes on that 10 CDs, 10 pesos, that's 4 CDs, 64 pesos, you could have been buying a liter of petrol for 5 CDs, 46 pesos. But this is an un unrealistic expectation to have. You know why? Because government needs money. Government needs money, so you're not going to have all the taxes and levies being scrapped. In this country, we measure one gallon, that is one gallon of petrol or diesel by 4.5 liters. You're multiplying now 4.64, that is the total of the taxes and levies, by the 4.5 liters, which make up a gallon. The total is 20 CDs, 88 pesos. Some have called for a review of some of these taxes I just, I just run through. As to whether that's going to be considered by government, we're yet to see.